um, the first card you have your past is the Eight of Cups. Yes. Okay, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing bad memories. So you had some bad memories at this time and they could have triggered off some bad feelings, which is what happens when you have bad memories. They trigger off all the feelings you had at that time. And, you know, there was just someone in your past. I'm seeing um, this person. Yeah, this person communicated really badly. This person from your past, from your more distant past. Could have been an, someone you were in a relationship with or someone like that. They really did not communicate. They communicated really, really badly. And, you know, there were times where they just didn't communicate at all, I'm seeing. Not at all, nothing. So it was like, you know, it was really difficult because they were being more and more distant with you. But then they weren't telling you why, why they were distant. And, you know, they weren't leaving you either. So it was like they weren't, they didn't want to be with you. They were acting like they didn't want to be with you. And then they didn't want to be away from you either. It was this horrible feeling. You just didn't know what was going on. It's a really bewildering feeling. I'm actually feeling this. It's like a feeling of being in a maze and you don't know which way to turn or where you are. It's horrible. And you try and ask them what's going on and then they don't say and it's, and then you feel, well, maybe nothing's going on. But you know, you know something's wrong because you have that feeling. That's all what I'm feeling when I see this. And, you know, it's kind of, like being trapped in a no man's land, like that kind of thing is what you're feeling at this time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is um this is actually something you were remembering. So this is this was a bad memory, and I'm just seeing the other thing I'm hearing is why. It's like you were thinking you had this memory and it triggered off all these bad feelings. You're thinking, oh, I feel this horrible thing again. I, I'm just thinking about this. And why am I thinking about this? Why am I still going through this. And it's almost like you're thinking, why aren't I over this? Why aren't I over this person? It's that kind of feeling. It's like you're even a little bit angry with yourself. And you know, this didn't feel good. Of course, remembering this doesn't feel good. But you know, this is just a memory. It doesn't mean that you weren't over this person. It was just like you're remembering a feeling and that was triggering off, or you're remembering what happened and it was triggering off a feeling. And it's like when you remember, maybe there was a time at school where some kid in class said something to you and you felt really bad and you know you might remember that sometimes things like that but it doesn't mean you're not over them I mean you're an adult you're over it now but just sometimes when you have a memory like that it triggers off that feeling that's all it is you are over them you're definitely over them that's what I'm seeing so don't stress too much about that but also sometimes these kind of bad memories are like um they're helpful. They're helpful for you in the future. If you come across someone like this, someone who doesn't communicate, someone you're thinking of having a relationship with, or even a friend or someone like that, you'll remember this feeling that you had in your past and you'll think, no, I don't want to feel that again. I remember that feeling. That's why I'm remembering it because it's teaching me, it's showing me not to go down that path again. That's what I'm seeing. Um, so that's these, these things are useful for you. So don't stress too much about thinking you're not over someone. That's what I'm seeing now um, with what happened to you in your past. So the next card you have for your past is the Queen of Swords. So yes, at this time, I'm just thinking about this again because you were thinking a lot about this ex and I don't want to go on and on about this person again. I'm seeing this, I'm seeing it probably is an ex. Um, yes, and you did, you did rise up above the situation. That's why I'm seeing this because I'm looking at this beautiful queen and she's sitting up in the clouds. She's got clouds, excuse me, I'm like off. <clears throat> Sorry about that. She has clouds behind her, all around her. She's up in the clouds. And what I'm seeing is that I know you're remembering this bad times and this bad thing and probably this bad breakup or whatever this was or some or they said something to you or they hurt you. You're remembering all of that. But also you need to remember how you behaved <clears throat> Excuse me. when you did break up. What I'm seeing here is that Yes, there was some blame and there were some problems and there were some fights and there was whatever happened. But then once you realized um, this isn't doing us any good, this isn't helping, you rose above that. So I'm seeing that this person was actually behaving not very well when you had some breakup or whatever it was. And you rose above that. Because look at this beautiful queen up in the clouds. You rose above that. And that's something else you should take away from this memory is that you acted really well. You behaved really, really well. You rose above this person and you should be proud of yourself. So that's another good thing that's come from this. Another memory that's come from this is what I'm seeing. 
So the last, excuse me, I have a croaky voice, I won't cough anymore. The last card you have here passed is the Four of Wands. Right. What I'm seeing here is that um, this is a message to you. Now, I know this is in your past, but this is telling you something that you need to go and do something. And this is, you know, it might still resonate now in your present. I don't know. But this is what this message is telling you. It's telling you that you need to get out a bit more. You need to accept some more invitations. You need to um, say yes to people when they're asking you to go out. Because you've been a little bit reclusive, reclusive, not reclusive, <laughs> reclusive. You've been a bit by yourself at this time. You've been busy, you've had your head down, but maybe you've been busy on purpose. Maybe you've been trying not to go somewhere. Oh, I'm busy, I can't, I can't. And may I'm just getting this feeling of not being very um, enthusiastic about going anywhere. Maybe someone invited you and you said no, something like that. There's just this, oh, I'm not motivated kind of feeling to go out. And, you know, these these memories that you're having were probably um, making you feel a little bit down as well. So you probably weren't feeling like this. But yes, you might be missing out on some good opportunities. So this is telling you to, yes, accept some invitations. So from now on, if some invitations come, just accept them. Just go. Even if you don't feel like it, you probably feel a bit better um, when, you, you, when you're there or when you come back. And you might think, oh, I'm glad I did that. That was really good. You might meet someone fantastic you don't know. So you should just say yes to some invitations. That's what I'm seeing now. I'm not bossing you around that's just what I'm seeing the first card you have your present is the Sun right so this is a really this can be a really fantastic really positive beautiful card which it is it is a beautiful card it can also mean some other things that can mean in this case I'm seeing it's meaning um you're wanting to shed some light on something you want to get clarity about something and this is for people who are in a relationship. This is what I'm seeing. You want to get some clarity about something. I'm just seeing your partner maybe being a little bit, um, a little bit quiet about something, maybe even a little bit touchy about something. Because what I'm seeing is that you're asking them something. You feel that something's up with this person. You're asking them and they're not actually giving you a proper answer why something's wrong it's like you know when you ask someone what's if someone's in a bit of a funny mood you can tell you know when they're in a bit of a mood and you say to them um is everything okay what's wrong nothing nothing's wrong it's fine okay and then later on they're still in this funny mood you say you sure nothing's wrong you sure you're okay? yeah i'm okay everything's fine okay okay fine you think hmm and then they're still like, you ask them again, look, are you sure you're okay? Because I'm really sensing something's not right. No, stop asking me. Everything's fine. Stop asking. So they, they become more and more touchy as you ask them. So then you, you push, you kind of pull away from them then. You don't want to ask them ever again. And yes, you, you are trying to, re or you are at this time, you're trying to reach out to this um, person who I'm seeing as your partner if you're in a relationship. And they're very touchy about talking about whatever this is. You want to shed light on this. You want to find out what's going on. But I'm seeing that you will find out what's going on. It might not be now, but it will be probably in your future, probably very soon, um, sometime in your future. You'll get a breakthrough. You'll find out what this is. If you look at this card, you'll see the child on this horse and a wall behind it. So this child's broken through a wall. So you will break through this. You'll find out what this is. And, you know, you'll find out about, about this soon. I keep on seeing you'll find out soon, very, very soon. And, you know, I'm also seeing you're going to have some sort of a surprise, but it's a good surprise. Obviously, this is the sun. It's a good surprise. So whatever this is, it's not going to be as bad as you think. It's going to be a good surprise. It's going to be like a relief, like Oh, phew, it's not bad. It's not that bad. Oh, I thought it was something terrible. No, it's going to be a good surprise. Um, and it's a, it's a very innocent thing. It's more innocent than you think. Because look at this child, how innocent this child is. So whatever this is, is more innocent than you think I'm seeing. And I'm also seeing that this your partner might be a little bit embarrassed about whatever this is. Maybe that's why they're not telling you whatever this is. It's something they're a little bit embarrassed about. It's something they're a bit embarrassed about showing you. They don't want to be exposed this is a naked child on this horse. This is an exposed child. So they're, they're childlike, they're shy, they feel like they're going to be exposed, but really it's not going to be a bad thing. Once this is revealed, you'll find out this is actually going to be a good thing. That's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have your present is the Hermit. Um, so yes, I'm seeing that again, this is this relationship situation. If you're in a relationship, this is um, for you, um, if this resonates, of course. Um, Yes, you're going to be thinking, because I'm seeing that, because you're asking this person, because you're asking your partner, what's wrong, what's wrong? And they say, no, no, nothing, stop asking me, stop asking me. So you stop asking them, 
And what you're doing now is you're just going to be by yourself because you have to, they don't want to talk to you, so you may as well be by yourself. So you're there with your um, lantern, like this um, hermit, he's got his lantern, and you're trying to find the right path and you're going along and you're saying, is this the right path? Is this what's going on? Is there a third party? Is it this? Is it that? Are they hiding a terrible secret? What's going on? What's going on? You're trying to find the right path. And, you know, because you're by yourself and you're trying to find the path and you can't find it because you don't know what it is until you actually know what the facts are, you're kind of imagining all sorts of negative things. And this is just telling you don't start imagining negative things. Wait until you find all the facts. Wait until you know what's going on. And then you'll actually um, feel a lot better. So, yes, of course, you're forced to be by yourself because they don't want to speak to you. But don't turn this into a thinking about worrying about what's going on and all these things. Just just try and relax when you're by yourself. Use this time to just, you know, rest, do some things you don't want to do, watch some movies. Not you don't want to do, but you've always wanted to do. Watch some movies, do some fun stuff, whatever you do. I don't know, eat some ice cream. Do something nice. Don't spend that time worrying about... Um, what this person's doing because I am seeing that it is going to be quite innocent if this all resonates. I hope this I hope it does. But yes, I am seeing it's all going to be innocent. You can see the sun. Look at the sun. Yes. So the last card you have for your present is the two of swords. So yes. I'm see what I'm seeing here is um yeah there's a build-up of tension. So this is about, this could be about a family member and this could be about you. Now I'm seeing that you've, this person you've, I'm seeing a family member because I know you've, you've seen or you've known this person for a long, long, long time. There's been a build-up of tension between you and this person. Now I am seeing a clash is going to be coming up between you. That's what I'm seeing. Now, if this resonates and you can see this and you listen to this, you can spot this. You know, if you know who this is, you can stop this from happening. I'm not saying this is definitely going to happen. This is a warning to you that a clash might be coming up. Now, you might want to clash with them. You might say, well, they deserve it. I'm going to tell them whatever they whatever I think. Okay, fine. But you know that this might come up. If you're in a situation with someone, a relative I'm seeing, where there's been some build-up of tension for a long time. Maybe you've never seen eye to eye. Maybe you disagree on something big and this tension's been building up. There is going to be a clash. That's what I'm seeing. So yes, I'm seeing that you're not going to back down. They're not going to back down with whatever this is. You're not seeing each other's um, point of view. You've both got your swords up like this equally. You're never going to see their point. They're no, never going to see your point. You both got your blindfold on. Look at this woman. She has a blindfold on. You have a lot of history with this person. That's why I'm seeing family, emotional history with this person in the back of this woman. Sorry, behind this woman, I can see a lot of water. So you have, yes, this emotional history. There's a lot of emotion behind this woman and also a lot of rockiness. There's a lot of rocks in the water as well. So a lot of rocky past with this person, a lot of... Um, a lot of yeah emotions behind this as well so yes this is what's going to happen you're both not going to see each other's point of view i'm not seeing this changing um you're either going to walk away i'm seeing or you're going to have this clash but it's building up and it's coming so it just yes that's what i'm seeing now just be aware of this if you don't want this to happen you can avoid it that's what i'm seeing <clears throat> excuse me i've got this cough again so the first card you have for your future is the ten of wands so yes, again, here we are. Here's this clash. It's building and building and building up. Look at this. Look at all these wands this man's carrying. Each wand has taken time to build up until he's finally got so many, he cannot bear it anymore and he has to drop them. And they're all going to go everywhere. And there is going to be a fallout from whatever this is. Now, if this is family, this might be a family fallout. There might be two sides in your family. It might be a family division or something like that. But yes, he has to drop his ones. He cannot keep on carrying these ones. That's when this clash is going to happen. It's going to come crashing down. I'm sorry, that's what I'm seeing. The next card you have in your future is the King of Swords. Yes, yeah, so what I'm seeing here is head ruling your heart. 
So you're going to have this time where um, your head is going to finally rule your heart. You've had so much emotion, you've had so many problems around you, that you're actually going to have to do some practical things. You know that these have been building up these practical things, and also that's showing me that with the Ten of Wands as well. These practical things have been building up. You haven't been dealing with these things properly because you've had so many emotional things going on. And yes, you're finally going to be able to deal with them at this time. Now, you might still be feeling a bit emotional, but you're going to try your best to push this aside because you're going to lose use sorry you're going to use logic you're going to use your head and you're going to just push this aside try and do your best deal with these practical things also i'm seeing business i'm seeing work related things you're going to be working on building things up again that you've dropped that kind of thing and just really really working on these things now really really putting any emotions aside as best you can and just really putting your head down just focusing really really focusing the last card you have for your future is the ten of pentacles i'm so glad you have this card because what i'm seeing is that when you start building up these things i'm actually seeing there was some sort of business or some work related thing or some money making thing or something you had going that you dropped when you had all of this stress going on and now at this time you're going to start to pick this up again pick up something you've dropped that's what i'm seeing this is something that's related to money because i'm seeing you're going to build up your finances very very slowly strongly steadily as you work on this thing it is going to be very good for you if you keep up on this work it's slow steady work you're going to have to keep up on this i am seeing that you're going to have nice things you're going to be able to buy nice things that's what i'm seeing because i'm seeing Obviously, there's pentacles, there's coins all over this. So yes, you'll have nice things. But also I'm seeing, um, there's, excuse me, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I keep coughing. I'm really sorry. Um, yes, what I'm seeing here is that in the bottom right hand corner, I think you just see it on camera. There are two dogs. You probably see one of the dogs. Now this family here, this is a family and they have these two pet dogs. So yes, in medieval times, if you had pets, you're actually quite wealthy. You're quite well off because Animals used to either, if you had animals, they'd either work for you, like work horses and cattle and things like that, or you'd eat them. So one or the other it was only quite wealthy people who had animals as pets. So this family has these two pets. They can just sit there, play with them, pat them. And that's why I'm seeing that you're going to be able to afford nice things, luxury things, not just things that you'd need. Not your basics you're going to have things beyond that when you work hard on this thing that's what i'm seeing 